Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an on-the-fly review for you. And today I'm talking about Unhinged, which came out last weekend in theaters everywhere. Oh, oh so wonderful. Um, this film is directed by Derek Borte, stars Russell Crowe, Karen Pistorius, Gabriel Bateman, and Jimmy Simpson. Ah, the whole setup here is uh, during just an awful morning. A woman rushing to get her, her teenage son to school. Loses her job over the phone on the way to the school, as well as also trying to deal with uh, a divorce. Um, and is also living with her brother at this time. So there's just problems racking up for this woman. Gets into a road rage incident with a man, unbeknownst to her, who's just murdered his wife and her new husband. His ex-wife and her second husband. And apparently the whole city is looking for him. Uh, he starts stalking her, killing everybody she comes across throughout the day, uh, and, uh, it's basically a solid slasher, it's, let's say, uh, comparisons here, it's, it's dual, plus falling down with, um, the hitcher thrown in there. It's not a very original or smart movie, I, I do like how the movie opens, during, you know, it's it's raining and it's smoky and it's a nasty morning. And as the, this is also all, all, I mean, like the whole movie is probably still, supposed, supposed to take place over like 34 hours. Um, uh, I like how it's consistent, you know, you see the sun's drying out the streets and the trees and the cars. Uh, I like the consistent visual look of it. Um, uh, did a good job of making it look like it was real time. Uh, Russell Crowe's terrific. As always, uh, I did think his character was lacking. I think we we both know too much and not enough about him. We should have should have been a complete mystery, or they should have told us his backstory. You know what I mean? Um, he's a uh, he's also like kind of I never liked the super smart killer. You know, uh, uh, it's just such a cliche. You know, you don't have to be intelligent to be a fucking brute. And I think that's more intriguing. Look at some, some of the most iconic and memorable killers in movie history were guys like Jason Voorhees. Just mindless. You know, just throw his massiveness into people and just rip them apart. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this movie two and a half stars, uh, mainly because my real problem with the film was, was the script. This convenient, uh, convenientness of it, you know, woman, characters totally forget about important things that they're definitely going to need later until it's just, like I said, convenient for the script, uh, like there's a, there's a bit where the whole film, she's trying to get to the cops, trying to wave down cops in the street, trying to wave down, um, uh, uh, trying to get to people, uh, to call the cops from their cars, swing to the gas station, trying to get them to call the cops, all this kind of stuff, the cops are already looking for this guy, and it's all because, I guess, he stole her cell phone. But, you know, conveniently, out of nowhere, it's like, hey, use the tablet in the back seat. Come on. Nobody's that fucking stupid. Somebody's out to kill you. You're going to forget that. You're going to... And also, that's another thing. So what, he took your car. I mean, he, so what, he took your cell phone. Don't you know where your local police department is with the sheriff's offices? I could fucking walk, walk you to the one in my town. I don't want to go there, but I know where the hell it is for emergency purposes. It's like knowing where the hospital or the fire department is, man. You gotta know where this shit is in your town. Anyhow, uh, two and a half stars, because I thought it was lazy, convenient, and... The gore was wanting. The situations, people getting beaten to death with crowbars and hit face first to the grill of big ass trucks and and stabbed in the face with scissors and 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 steak knives and stuff like this. It should have been, the, the, it's on the page. It's far more gruesome than what we're seeing on the screen. And they could have jumped at that. It's not like they were they weren't going for an R rating. This movie is rated R. They barely go two scenes without saying fuck. Uh, anyhow, um. Hope y'all like this video. Uh, you know, even though I'm still just stuck to the theaters that are back open nationwide. Um, uh, if I can arrange something, I'd like to actually go see Tenant on the big screen. Um, anyhow, uh, I mean, like, you know, the big, big screens. The IMAX, if it's open. Anyhow, uh, I'm, I'm just happy movies are back. <laughs> and, and this this madness... Waste of the years is coming to an end. Anyhow, I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.